Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with the first video I'm doing after the possible termination of my channel. I haven't been able to post a video, I think, for a month. I didn't look at the exact date, but it was right around my birthday, and my birthday's October 7th. A few days after that is when I got the shutdown notice. And it is now November 15th, my mom's birthday, ironically. So I got the email today from YouTube saying you won. It wasn't that like I gave up or something or they were whatever I won. I fought it. I won. We're good. I have been doing all my shows like clockwork every week. If you didn't see the comments or whatever, the notices I was putting up in the community, that's the only thing they allowed me to do. All you're allowed to do is put up a post in the community a written post. You can't make a video. I can't do anything explaining what's going on to you guys. I guess they're afraid of what you might say, so they just immediately suspend your channel without even knowing if you're right or wrong. I ended up winning. I'm right. And I didn't get to post for a month. I lost hundreds of subscribers. I lost thousands in revenue. No, I didn't. I don't make that much money. I'm joking. But I easily lost hundreds of subscribers. I was averaging 500 to 1,000 Every single month since I started, and this month I've gotten 300. It's funny that I even got 300 by posting absolutely nothing. It's just my old videos carrying the channel because I post so much crap early on. I mean, I think I have like upwards of 2,000 videos on the channel now. That's way more than most people because in the beginning I just went nuts with it. Now I have my shows and we do our trailers and stuff like that. But this... I've been watching Chucky. I've been loving Chucky. I'm going to try to edit up some of the episodes. I'm just so backed up now because I wasn't able to do YouTube. I cut the editing and I just focused 100% on Patreon because I wasn't sure where that was going to go. But now that I won and I'm safe, we're jumping into the promo. I'm going to do the Chucky Season 1 Episode 6 promo before I do anything else. It's going to be the first thing I do on YouTube since the termination hold. And I haven't seen it yet. I watched episode five last night and I purposely waited to watch the promo because I'm thinking I probably won't watch episode six till Wednesday. Maybe they'll lift the strikes on my channel by then and by now they did. So it's less than a half a day has gone by. I'm going to watch the promo. We're going to watch Episode six, I'm going to chop that up as quick as possible and get it out to you guys. And then somewhere in the middle, I'll get the rest out. But if you want to see all the episodes in full, they're all on my Patreon in full right now, all the way up to episode five, which is the most current one. Also, all the other shows, Seasons Ahead, Adventure Time, stuff like that, and dozens of exclusive shows you won't see on YouTube for a long time. Fringe, Battlestar Galactica, all sorts of crazy stuff. Check it out. If not, here we go, guys. This is the promo for Season 1, Episode 6, Chucky. He's still out there. We have to find He's him. He's still him. out there. I have an idea. Andy Barkley. Oh, well, you think he'll know how to find Chucky? Yes. You made me do this. Was that Andy in the back? Oh, that's Andy. God, so many flashings. Next Tuesday at 10 on USA and Sci-Fi. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure that was Andy in the trailer right there, the promo. I'm pretty sure that was Andy. We've seen Andy in The Curse and the Cult of Chucky. Wait, no. Curse of Chucky, Cult of Chucky. We've seen Andy in The Cult of Chucky at the end with the babysitter from Child's Play Part 2. I cannot remember her name right now, but she's also from 902 and now. She was Emily Valentine. I always remember that because it was right around that time where I was a teenager and I was watching 902 and now. Don't judge. I also watched this, so it's all right. But either way, Emily Valentine is the babysitter from Part 2. She's I don't know. Is she confirmed in this? I'm pretty sure. But she was in, I'm pretty sure, The Cult of Chucky as well, as was Brad Dourif's daughter, who was in the last episode. I didn't realize this. My sister told me that in the extended thing or whatever it is, or the behind the scenes, they said that Brad Dourif's daughter was actually even playing young Charles Lee Ray when he was in the club. I mean, it makes sense because they dubbed his voice and I was saying during my reaction how it was very odd that they chose to do that. I didn't realize, though, that it was because his daughter was playing young Charles Lee Ray. That's awesome. I got to go back and look. I just found that out right before I watched this. So going to go back and watch that. But that's interesting. If you haven't seen it, go back and look or if you haven't heard that. Either way, we're getting tons of things that are tying the worlds together. We saw Tiffany in the last one. I mean, she was hooking up with 
Brad Dourif's daughter who didn't realize she was because she was actually Chucky because Chucky, how a do a Dembella into her. And I mean, the whole episode of the last one was that. But this, I mean, I'm going in a rant now. This promo looks like, I mean, they're showing us Andy. They're telling us Andy's here. They told us there's three episodes left. I got worried for a second when I saw the three episodes left. I blocked out the three and thought, oh my God, it did it. Did it just say one episode left? But then I remembered, no, it said three, three episodes left. So that's a solid season. We'll have an eight episode season, six, yeah, eight episode season. I mean, we have Loki was six and I loved Loki. So, I mean, you don't need a lot of episodes as long as it's solid. And they probably didn't know if people would jump on board. I hope people are freaking out about this. The people I talk to love it. I just don't know how many people know about it because it's Sci-Fi USA. And like I said, I love that it's Sci-Fi USA because that's what I grew up with watching horror with all the edited Friday the 13th and all those great 80s movies that you love to make fun of. They're great on USA when you're a kid because they they could cut out the violence and you could watch them and, and you grow up like I did. But besides that... I mean, they basically just set up Andy. That was what the promo was doing. It's setting up Andy, and then Chucky's running around like a goddamn psycho doll, like he always does. So the episode comes out tomorrow night. It is Monday. I got my channel reinstated. We're going to jump into other things. I got work tonight, but I'm going to try to edit so much this week. I am way ahead on my shows because I had so much time to watch them. So check out the channel, guys. Subscribe if you want. If you want to see more of what I do, full on edited reactions of all the shows on the channel. Chucky, up to date. We're going to do episode six on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Check it out. Dozens of exclusives only on Patreon. Link in front of me. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.